Yeah. So this is the Sense Glove. Yeah. And you said it's both for hand tracking and force feedback? Yeah, so we uh, do that from the inside. So even without a controller, you can just see how you move your hands here. And if you touch an object, uh, you, you turn on the brakes and your finger gets stopped. Okay. So there's like a tensioner, these cables are tensioners to create the, the force feedback? Yeah, exactly. So then if you touch, for example, a cup in virtual reality, your fingers get stopped. Or drill. We also have uh, vibrators in here. Okay. So for example... So it's like uh, a haptic engine. Yeah. And is it in each fingertip? No, it's uh, on the thumb and the index finger, and we have uh, one here in the wrist. Okay. Yeah. So and then the these are battery powered, right? Yeah, so the battery uh, is located in here. And, okay. Uh, this is the actuators in here? Yeah, there's also actuators in here. I don't know the exact number, but... And uh, we have about four hours of runtime on a fair phone, like, full use. Okay. And two hours of charging time, yeah. Got it, okay. And then... Um, so you use the controllers for to track in VR? In VR, yeah. Okay. So we're currently working on a solution for that in the computer vision, so okay. that we no longer need to use the tracking for the controller. So we're taking a lot of uh, pictures of the sense cloth and get training data for it to be used without such a controller. Got it. Okay. And are you guys already selling these? Yeah, we're already selling these. So uh, for five thousand US dollars in the market right now. Okay. Uh, we think we have a very accessible glove. Um, Volkswagen is already using it. European Space Agency. A multiple Ministry of Defenses are using it. Okay. And, uh, yeah, uh, we really take pride of it. That's such an accessible glove, and it's on the market. Cool. Thank you very much. No I can't wait to try.